Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be discussing some things that have been mentioned around the community previously, and that's in reference to the game being in the same universe as Grand Theft Auto 5, or just Grand Theft Auto in general. Now, today, we're going to be debunking that with one simple thing that's available inside of Red Dead Redemption 2, but it is interesting, and the main reason people think this is because in other Grand Theft Auto titles, there are quite a few Red Dead Redemption Easter eggs. And there's even some things in Red Dead Redemption 2 which seem to reference stuff that happens in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, in Grand Theft Auto 5, there's a book called Red Dead, which is written by Jack Marston. Uh, there's a couple other things. There's like a, a guy on a beach wearing a J uh, John Marston t-shirt. And there's just quite a few different things in there that reference the Red Dead Redemption universe. Now, that is the main reason for thinking that this is that the two are connected. Um, and I had really hoped that that was the case for a really long time, because one thing that I would love to see Rockstar do is create a Roaring Twenties game, whether that's in Red Dead Redemption universe or in Grand Theft Auto V, but it would have been cool to possibly have like a Roaring Twenties Grand Theft Auto V set in New York, or as it's called in Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City. And, um, you know, in the Prohibition era, I think it would be an amazing time frame. And at that point, you could even have Jack be part of it. Going into New York and being in a Grand Theft Auto would be insane. Or just having another Red Dead Redemption, but then it really wouldn't be Cowboys, and it just wouldn't really fit in the genre that Rockstar has been going for. Now, we're able to debunk this myth that... Not really myth, but theory, that they are in the same universe with one article referencing... Reverend Swanson. Now, many of you may wonder, what happened to Reverend Swanson in the epilogue? We don't we don't really hear much about him. He is a major screw-up in Red Dead Redemption 2. He's continuously drunk, and he even has a heroin needle in his Bible. So he was a hot mess. Now, what you can do is, in the epilogue, you can buy a newspaper. The newspaper guy isn't there right now, so I think I actually finally bought all the newspapers. It was broken for a long time, and I was finally able to buy the newspapers. I just bought every single one that I was able to. Uh, let's see here. So, newspapers. There we go. You're going to need to pick up Blackwater Ledger number 74. And once we open Blackwater Ledger number 74, we're going to see a couple cool things here. The Bureau of Investigation is finally founded. Unrest in the Tropics. We are helpless. And then down there, Reverend Swanson leads New York Church. Now, we are going to read this article, but that specifically says New York Church, not Liberty City. And with the amount of detail that Rockstar puts into their games, if they were connected, it would say Liberty City. Now, you could theorize that maybe at some point in the history of these two games, New York was renamed. I have no idea why it would be renamed, or maybe the state is still called New York in both games, but New York City itself is just called Liberty City. But then, oh, so there's a couple different things you could think of, but I'm pretty sure, since this is referencing New York, and it's specifically in New York City, that it's not in the same universe. Now, uh, that's not what we want to read. We want to read Reverend Swanson leads New York Church. Now, Reverend Orville Swanson was inducted into his first official capacity as minister at the First Congres oh, Congregational Church of New York this week. Having moved to the city to accept the position, a service was held and then a reception was given to celebrate the appointment. Encouraging reports from the attendees indicate that Reverend Swanson delivered an impassioned and heartfelt sermon about acknowledging sin and seeking redemption. That's kind of funny, Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> he spoke about his own break from faith in a dark period when he could not attend church, falling into sin, depravity, and wanton gluttony. He chronicled the period where he rediscovered his faith and began witnessing on street corners uh, to then become assistant pastor at a church in Ohio and now New York. So he went all over the place. During his recent attendance at the, con uh, the convention meeting, at First Congressional Churches, he delivered a very moving oration. Impressing attendee. Excuse me! 
I suppose I should not have been standing in the middle of the road, but still, excuse me, how dare you interrupt my reading. That was incredibly rude. I'm surprised I didn't, like, die or something. Good lord. There we go. Uh, where was I? Uh, during his recent attendance at the convention meeting at First Congressional Churches, he delivered a very moving oration, impressing attendees as an eloquent and persuasive speaker, and was almost immediately offered the position. So, good for Reverend Swanson. He is not walking around drunk, creepily singing in any in people's ear anymore. Hopefully. Oh, I thought that said lefty gang killed. Interesting. Uh, but I would still really love to see Rockstar take on a Roaring Twenties yeah, game. I think it would be awesome. I know we've got L.A. Noir, but still, it's 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 not the same. You know, a Grand Theft Auto style or Red Dead Redemption style game in, in the Roaring Twenties, I think, would be absolutely amazing. Today's episode is a little bit shorter than usual. I'm not gonna force this to be any longer than it needed to be. So I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did. Make sure to funnel that like button. Let's see if we get this video to 10 billion likes. 1,000 likes would be awesome. Thank you all so much for the support. If you haven't already, make sure to doing? subscribe. I'm going to tackle this guy because he looks like a person who needs to be beat to death. I'll see you all in the next one.